Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Engineer Sam Wasabi, and in this video, we'll be looking at principles of building construction, information, and communication. So, before we begin, do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel. All right, so to start with, we're going to understand all the principles or the basic blocks rather that are needed for a building construction and all the information that we can use to communicate. So, let's understand one thing when we talk about construction drawings, what are we trying to say. So construction drawings are basically all the construction drawings that we can create, which are mostly referred to as plans, blueprints, or just the working drawings. And these drawings will always show you what is to be built. For instance, if you draw up something, that particular drawing can show us exactly what you want to build. Are you trying to build a two-story building? Are you trying to build a three-story building and the like? Are you trying to build, um, let me just say, just an office rather, or basically just a house to be uh, specific. So whenever you're looking at construction drawings, you're just looking at a plan, blueprint, something that will show us what you want to build. So the specific focus in most cases, you'd find that to always just involve the material, installation methods and the quality standards. However, you need to understand that there's a distinction. The distinction rather is not clear cut. Most designers put basic construction information in the joints. You'd find that someone will create a joint and put some basic instructions on a side of the joint. So those instructions will show you um, the materials and any other thing that is needed for the building to be built. Other pack their joints with written notes, like I'm trying to say, that cover uh, many of the issues commonly contained in the specs. An example of a construction drawing is like this plan that we have. It shows the living room, the dining, the beds, and many other uh, rooms that are actually designed on this uh, plan. So this is basically a construction drawing. There are many types of construction drawings. This is just one of the many. Now, now that we understand the construction drawings, or what they are rather, we need to understand what drawing scales are. Now, sectional details usually show the detailed drawing of a complicated area within the job. You'd find that the what is on paper and what is on site is quite different. So we use drawing scales to work easily within the range that we have. So you'd find that there would be a drawing scale of 1 to 10 or 1 to 5. So basically, every time we're looking at construction joints, we always have a joint scale. Now, joint scales will show us a lot of things. But nearly all construction joints are joined to scale. The large blueprints or working joints used on the job site are typically joined at a scale. Block plans usually show the sighting of the project in relationship to ordnance surveying maps. Now, be mindful that conversions are used to depict boundaries, roads, and other details. Recommended scales are 1 to 2,500. That is like the, literally the recommended scale that we use. Site plans usually show the extent of the site, but not surrounding details. Be mindful about that. A site plan is just a plan, plan rather of the site. Recommended scales are 1 to 500. Floor plans usually show the layout of the room. Key dimensions and levels and many also use conventions and symbols to show materials and locations of fittings and appliances. Recommended scales are 1 to 100. Section details usually show the detailed drawing of a complicated area within the job, like 1 to 10 or 1 to 5. So what I'm trying to say is this. Now, whenever you are understanding drawing scales, you need to understand that each drawing part has a scale. For instance, we're saying that floor plans usually have a scale of 1 to 100. That's like the recommended scale that we use. Site plans have a recommended scale of 1 to 500. If you look at ordinance surveying maps, they will have a scale of 1 to 2,500. So these scales help us to understand exactly how the 
structure will be built and how we can see it on paper and how it can come out on site. So basically, this is a common example of a floor plan. We have the bedroom, kitchen, dining, bathroom, living room, and the porch. So this is how mostly a floor plan will look like. Other research can show you a different type of floor plan. For example, this one. This one shows you all the furniture that is present and everything that is uh, needed within uh, the plan. But mostly we do not use this type of uh, technique of showing a floor plan or mostly our syllabus. We mostly prefer this one. So be mindful, these are floor plans and they already have their own scale that it will be recommended depending with the area while you're doing your construction. If you look at site plans, a site plan will look like this. This is basically a site plan. Uh, most common site plans will look like this. This shows you the plan of the site, the area where your construction has to be done. Now we can look at levels and data. What are they? Be mindful of the mark that is present in this picture. Now, a data mark or a line is marked on a wall at a height that is easy to refer to, a reasonable height, which is basically like a meter. So this mark on the wall is called a data line. Be mindful that the data mark or line may not be near the area where frames or lining are to be fixed and will have to be transferred to that area to establish the finished floor level. There is quite a lot of techniques or methods of marking a data line. But be mindful that the common ones are just basically where you mark. But the simplest and least expensive method is to use a spirit level uh, or even a straight edge. But the advantage of this is that the distance is limited. That's one thing we should remember. Other than understanding datums and levels, we can look at what are called Join hatchings. Typical examples we can find are as follows. You can find this in your construction join. This depicts soil. This is hard core. This is just a picture of a mass concrete. Reinforced concrete. We have a reinforcement bar, which is uh, outlined, as you can see. We have brickwork. We have blockwork stonework, unwrought timber, we have wrought timber, we have double, or oh, this is a slide in the sash windows, horizontal pivots, all these are uh, examples. Other examples would also include these symbols are not that mostly common but uh, we just have to know them for the sake of understanding. We have rainwater pipe. Uh, we have a distribution board, electric meter. There's quite a number, a switch. All these symbols need to be understood in order to understand clearly how a construction join uh, comes out. So basically, these are some of the principles you should know under building construction. And these are some of the informations that should be put on your joints in order to communicate uh, clearly to everyone what is to be built. All right, thanks for watching. See you in the next lesson.